there are two types of Hyundai Santa Fe. We've previously reviewed the smaller five-passenger Santa Fe Sport, and now it's time for the bigger one. How big? Well, this regular non-sport Santa Fe has three rows of seats and room for seven passengers, or six if you get the second row captain's chairs. Now the two in the furthest back will probably need to be children, just like in a Nissan Pathfinder, Ford Explorer, or Toyota Highlander. Those also have similar cargo capacity as the Santa Fe. If you need more room, be it for people or stuff, bigger or more space efficient crossovers like the Chevrolet Traverse could be better choices. The rest of the cabin is pretty much a spitting image of the sport. Same high quality materials, distinctive design and controls that are well organized and easy to use. This touchscreen in particular is one of the more user friendly electronics interfaces. Like every Hyundai, you get a long warranty and lots of stuff for your money. Even the base Santa Fe includes heated front seats, a rear view camera, Bluetooth phone and audio, and an iPod interface. The Pathfinder and Explorer have similar base prices, but don't come close to the Santa Fe standard equipment. That rings true even on this loaded Santa Fe. Similarly equipped competitors can cost thousands more. Every full-size Santa Fe is powered by a 3.3-liter V6 with available front or all-wheel drive. Acceleration and fuel economy are average for the segment. The main drawback to the Santa Fe is its ride. On road trips, our editors and their families have complained that it's crashy, wallowy, and just generally uncomfortable. It gets even worse when loaded up with people and their stuff. Every competitor is better. And that's a shame since the Santa Fe offers such an otherwise appealing package. It gives you lots for your money and seats seven without being gigantic. But its ride is a potential deal breaker. For more information, go to edmunds.com and specifically our long-term test of this very Santa Fe.